Today we're talking about cheap miniatures, hero clicks. Check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Crafting Brothers. Thanks for joining us. I have some cool stuff here today. Uh, I have this whole box of hero clicks. Uh, if you don't know what Hero Clicks is, it was a game back in the 90s and early 2000s where the characters would go across a board and you could click the bottom of them and adjust uh, hit points and adjust features and things. It's kind of a fun game. I played a little bit of it, but I found this giant box of all these characters and a lot of them, a lot of them admittedly don't really work for D&D uh, for because they're superhero poses, they're... Some of them have weapons, this guy's got a gun, things like that. But there are actually a lot of them that work exactly perfectly for the fantasy world. And I pulled out a bunch and I'm going to show them to you now. So uh, I'm also going to show you how to convert some of them easily to work in the game. So let's check it out. So if you follow my channel at all, you guys know that I don't think it's necessary to purchase expensive miniatures in order to play the game. In fact, I go out of my way to find deals in cheap miniatures, things that you can convert and use for positioning within the game of Dungeons and Dragons. You can find these in bulk for about 50 cents a piece, and I think that's a great deal for miniatures for D&D. There's not as many ready-to-use miniatures as there are in the Mage Knight videos that you saw from mine, but I do think there's some great options. Let me show you what I found. First up, we have Morlock from the Marvel Universe. I think the hands are a little cartoony, but otherwise I think it could be used as some sort of orc. Next, we have Killer Frost that can easily be used as any sort of ghost or translucent character. Same thing here with X-Ray, some sort of translucent demon. Now here we got Toro and the Human Torch, which work perfectly for a pair of fire elementals. Now here is a nice looking character that I think can be turned into some sort of monk with that pose. And then of course you have Ronin, which works perfectly as either a monk or some sort of assassin. This one's a little strange because I just think the look is so iconic. But I think it can be used as a shambling mound or some sort of swamp creature. And I think this one can be used as maybe an assassin or some sort of townsfolk. And now here's Hyena, which I think works for maybe a werewolf or any type of wolf kind of character. And then of course Man Bat if you want the flying wolf type character. And this one's interesting. I think just give this one some green tone, maybe remove the cape and it works for an orc or maybe a goblin boss. Now here's a really nice looking executioner that I think works as is. And these are very interesting. They're shadow thieves. I don't even know what they are in the comic book world, but I think they can be used as some sort of shadowy character. And then you have just a plain old assassin that I think works good. Maybe a repaint. Here's kind of a flamboyant swordsman, and if you look here, the, one of the problems with hero clicks is the scale. Because the characters themselves are a little large, so I think they work really nice for monsters, but not necessarily for player characters. Here's a Asgardian warrior that looks really nice, but again, he's a little large. So if it doesn't bother you, then go for it. And now here's a character of the miniature mashup did a conversion of that can be easily converted to a harpy and this guy just looked strange and it looked like I could probably use him in some sort of scenario same with this thing I don't even know what it is maybe a zombie coming out of the ground and then this thing again I always have a need for kind of bizarre uh, magic users or wizards and things now this one might take a little bit of converting work. This is Venom, and you can see it looks a little cartoony. And here are a pair of nice elven archers, although again, the problem with these guys is the scale. You can see here, they're kind of large characters. And here's just a straight up bear. And a couple of straight up gorillas that actually work pretty good if you need them. 
And this character, Orchid, I think would be one that I'm going to try and convert to maybe a doppelganger. This is kind of a nice little Wolfsbane character. And here are a bunch of characters that just could be used as golems. Uh, iron golem, gold golem, stone golem, and then maybe a statue. So I picked out these four that I thought I would convert. And unfortunately, I did not get a shot of that one in the middle. I don't even know what it is, but you'll see what I do with it. So just enjoy the uh, conversion process here. So I started with the orchid because I wanted to remove that weird hairstyle. As you will see from here on out, the painting process is pretty straightforward, but you can see I don't uh, strip the paint, I just paint directly over it because I think easy conversions for your game is the way to go, especially with these. So just kind of enjoy what I'm doing and uh, let me know what you think at the end. So here they are alongside their counterparts, uh, except for the one that I told you I didn't have a shot of, <laughs> of course, but a pair of doppelgangers, uh, a harpy, I think they came out good, I like the monk. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and I will see you next time with another cool video. Have a great one.